All right, so we have another My Little Pony episode idea, one for Generation 4, of course, one that was going to hopefully take place in Season 9. Of course, it didn't actually take place during Season 9, um, but this was an episode idea I wrote for it, uh, something that I had hoped to see or expected to see in Season 9. Um, this episode idea is based on the episode Secrets and Pie, which took place in Season 7. In that episode, Rainbow Dash had this big secret where she secretly hated pies, and Pinkie Pie was trying to figure out what this secret was, and ultimately that's what it was, and uh, all this other stuff, right? So, um... In that episode, it kind of implied that maybe Rainbow Dash had more secrets. So I decided, hey, maybe we can get some closure on that as well and get an episode about Rainbow's Other Secret. So this is an episode idea called Rainbow's Other Secret, of course. Now, uh, the episode starts off pretty normal, except it's a little bit sketchy because Rainbow Dash is sneaking across Ponyville until Pinkie Pie catches her and asks what she's doing. Maybe Rainbow Dash is also like holding on to something or doing some other thing. Maybe she has something with her. And they talk about it. She she brushes him off and, and manages to get away. Uh, Rainbow claims to be doing nothing, obviously. She zooms away to her house. And this is where we get to see uh, Tank again. Because, you know, her pet turtle, we don't really get to see that much in this series, which is really disappointing. Um, but Rainbow tells P uh, Tank that Pinkie Pie almost found out about her greatest secret. And she opens a hidden door uh, in, in her wall or something like that, right? And in the hidden room is a uh, thing, right? It's got three pieces of a worn out map surrounded by gold and treasures and artifacts and stuff like that. Rainbow Dash says she's finally got the last piece and she puts the fourth piece of the map with the others and we cut to the intro. And this is going to be kind of a short kind of summary of this episode. Uh, but basically, after we come back from the intro, Rainbow Dash tells Twilight that she can't teach at the, the school or whatever like that this week because of Wonderbolt stuff along with like weather duty stuff and all this other stuff, right? She comes up with a bunch of excuses why, why, why she can't work at the school this week because, again... This was going to take place in season nine, um, so obviously they have the school and stuff like that, which they can't, they don't necessarily ever give explanations on why they ain't working at the school or whatever like that. But hey, why not? I feel like they they should throw that in there anyway. As I said, it's not going to be very long, but obviously Twilight allows her to leave after thinking it over. Rainbow Dash leaves, and now we skip ahead to get flying over a dangerous mountain range while looking over the map she put together. Um, and so obviously she's trying to look for this treasure based on this map and stuff like that, right? So she's flying over this ravine and these these dangerous locations and stuff like that, trying to get to this treasure, obviously, because this treasure map leads to some kind of treasure. Uh, and so while she's doing this, she gets tackled midair. Um, and we don't quite see who it is at first, but then we realize that it's Daring Do um, and stuff like that. So Rainbow, uh, uh, Daring Do obviously is asking about this map and stuff like that, trying to figure out why Rainbow Dash has it and stuff like that. Rainbow Dash doesn't really give a, a satisfactory answer or says nothing at all. And then she flies away super fast because of course she's fast and everything like that um and so we're, we're like throughout this whole thing we're definitely super skeptical of like what's going on with rainbow dash and the secrets and stuff like that i promise we're gonna get to that here soon yeah they run into each other again and rainbow dash is now forced to confess that she's been following treasure maps and taking artifacts and treasures for a while now in fact all those tr all that treasure and stuff like that that was hidden in that wall were all artifacts that she kind of stole but not quite stole she technically found them but rather than donating them, donating them to museums or any of this other stuff she's just been kind of keeping them and stuff like that um and so she, yeah she admits all this to daring do that she's been following these treasure maps and taking these artifacts and the treasures for a while now daring do is very upset that she would do that especially after like everything they've, they've done before in the past like helping the, each other out and stuff like that as as shortly after they explain all this stuff they end up getting trapped in some kind of pyramid or some kind of other structure or something like that so now obviously they have to work together to get out of this pyramid or this ancient tomb or something, right? It doesn't necessarily matter what it is, but they now have to work together to get out of this. And after a lot of working together to escape all this stuff, uh, maybe talking about like what Rainbow Dash has been doing and stuff like that with Daring Do and stuff like that, um, finally Daring, uh, Rainbow Dash agrees to donate the treasure she's collected so far, plus this new treasure that they worked together to discover, to museums and all that other stuff like that. 
Um, now, another thing about this, like, like I said, it's very short, but something else you could also add to this is you could also add a cliffhanger by having one of these things um, stolen, uh, that Rainbow Dash stole or like kept in her wall in the secret room or whatever like that, be significant in some way. It could be significant to future episodes or something like that. In fact, um, the last episode that I talked about before, which was Jealous Abyss, one of those artifacts could very well be the artifact that ends up making Scootaloo extremely jealous. And of course, we could just swap these where this episode happens first and Jealous Abyss happens afterwards. And now Scootaloo is at this museum or whatever like that visiting and then she stumbles upon it. Maybe she somehow ends up with it um, before it gets put up on shelves or something like that and she gets stuck with it. Um, maybe she intercepts it in some other way. Maybe um, while they're putting it in the museum, it falls out of a crate or out of a box or something like that and falls in this crevice that Scootaloo falls in and stuff like that. And then boom, there you go. You can kind of connect these two episodes. You could definitely have this be significant in other ways as well. For example, it could be some other artifact that is important to the season finale or something like that. I think, obviously, there is definitely a lot you could do with this episode. Um, you can have all kinds of different puzzles and stuff like that that Daring Do and Rainbow Dash have to work together to solve, but they're very pissed off at each other right now because obviously Daring Do is very disappointed that Rainbow Dash would do this, and Rainbow Dash is probably disappointed that Daring Do doesn't keep some of the stuff. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is very much in line with Rainbow Dash's character. Obviously, she's loyal and stuff like that, um, the element of loyalty and everything like that, obviously, but I feel like she was definitely the kind of character that would kind of not necessarily steal, but keep these treasures and artifacts as like souvenirs or as like trophies or something like that. I feel like that's definitely how Rainbow Dash would view some of these items and stuff like that. Uh, but there you go. Like I said, it's very short. That, of course, is Rainbow's Other Secret. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this cat talking in the background throughout most of this video. Um, but yeah, if you did, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all of those wonderful things like that. Because when you do wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to be comfortable for yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things. And until next time, stay wonderful.